For more than a century, it's been a mainstay in South Baltimore. Now big changes are coming to one of the city's most popular public markets. Ron Matt says more on what's happening at Light and Cross Streets. How are you? I'm fine this morning. The regulars love the good food at Steve's Lunch. It's been a favorite at Cross Street Market for more than 50 years, but it's been moved to the other end of the market with a massive redevelopment project underway. Business is slow. Hopefully when we go up the other end, it's going to pick up. They bring new vendors in and people, stuff people like, food people like. That new food and a retro look is on the way, with large new windows being a big part of the rebirth. We're putting the windows back in. We're putting you know, uh, glass in the doors and putting it back into the form that it was in the 1950s when it was really the heart of the neighborhood. Good news for Pete Pittis, who's owned the market sweet shop for 30 years. It's going to be better than it is uh, as long as it draws the people in. That's what we need, and we need a good draw. Welcome, welcome to Sovici. My name is Leo, this is Chanel. Haitian cuisine will be part of the market's new mix. I'm more excited than I think anybody else in, in here. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be great for the community. The new market design includes seating for about 500 people, including 100 seats outside. And 30 vendors ready to serve Baltimore by the spring of next year. I'm very much looking forward to, to it being done and people finally getting a chance to enjoy the, uh, the revitalization of the market. Ron Matz reporting for WJZ.